Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 628, where we have 30 moves to collect 5 wrapped candies. I say collect instead of create and collect, because 4 are already on the board, but they're wrapped in marmalade. And then I've got this awful problem of this frosting really cutting everything off. So I have a couple of different moves I can make on the board, which is an improvement. Normally I only have one move I can make on the board, and I have to take it. That shows you that there's luck required. If you don't have any options, there's no strategy to employ. But here I can either make this move, or this move, in this area, or I can do this. Not only is this going to give me a stripe, but it's also going to take out a little bit of frosting. Plus, it's in the area where we have this conveyor belt and these... Um, chameleon candies and these are going to be our advantage on the board. This is in a static area so even if I make this this is going to stick around. If I make this move this will not be available in the future. So I'm going to take what's available now and that's what I'm going to keep doing. Although that didn't help much because it got detonated very quickly. Again I can do this but I'm going to do this. I'm going to work on the things that help most. Now I could do this and it's in the um, conveyor belt area, but it doesn't open up any frosting for me. So now I'm better off doing either this or this. So let's talk about this. I've got this wrapped candy stuck up here. And if I move the blue, I take out one layer of one frosting, plus I open this up. But there's no other yellow to match this with. And this generally takes care of itself by gravity. I'm actually going to take out one layer of three and um, consider that a better deal. And eventually I'm probably going to end up with a reshuffle. Right now I've got one other move I can make. There's my reshuffle. And that's what happens on this board. And that proves to us that we're dealing with luck. Because right now the only move I have is not a very lucky one. It's kind of a dull one. It's not going to lead to anything great. The conveyor belt, however, helped out by setting things up for us. And once I can punch through here, I can repopulate this area with candy. And that'll be a huge improvement. I can't make any moves along here. This looks like the only move I have available, but at least it's going to strike through this frosting a little bit further. I cannot make any moves along here, so I make the moves I have in this static area, or mostly static. I've got a, a rainbow candy here now, a chameleon candy. Okay, so this is so close to opening up. Hopefully with this next reshuffle we'll just get it to open, or this next next reshuffle. There we go. That's how bad it is. You get a reshuffle and you still don't get a move to make. Tough choice. This or this. This takes out more frosting, but this takes out the frosting toward the top. And remember, I need to have this populated so I have more candy on the board so I can reach down here. So I'm going for the one that gives me the better odds at clearing this area out. I've got really now a great opportunity here with the stripe draft combo. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take that right away and take out that frosting and open this area up. Now, we still have one more wrapped candy to make on this board besides what we've been given, and that's, of course, if we can reach everything we've been given. So what I need to do is try to set up wrapped candy opportunities. But it's too hard to set them up with the with the shifting board with chameleons and the um, conveyor. So what I do is I just open up the board and... Try to make as many cascades as possible. I'm much more likely to be able to get things to divinely create themselves or set themselves up divinely than I am to be able to set them up myself because of the shifting of the board. Look at this. Which way do I want to go here? I'm going to go this way. And I want this to drop down one before I use it, if possible. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so that dropped down too, but now it's on this conveyor, and I might have some success there. I still can't breach this area. That's a problem for me. So now I look at the concentrations of color. What can I do that will put things together? Oh, but I have very few valid moves I can make here. So I'm thinking about going ahead and using this, which will then concentrate the colors down a bit further for me, because I'm just kind of running out of any other good moves. Although, let's just see, because I've got a lot of yellow here. Here we go. 
I set it up. So hard to set up a wrapped candy on this board. Now this is going to take this out, which is going to take out the most prevalent color on the board, and that is what I needed. This is almost available now. I've breached this area. If I can just get a green to match up, I'm done. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am with that, because this is my 12th playthrough on this board. I know, it's not even listed as a hard level, and uh, yet it has vexed me terribly. Here's the good news, though. This is going to be so easy to beat with specials, and you've got probably a lot of opportunities to bring specials in to help you. Oh, look at that. Oh, if I don't beat this now, I'll be so upset. Uh, because it would be easy. There we go. It would be easy to beat this if I brought in a lucky candy. That would give me at least one more of these wrapped candies, and it would start me out with then a wrapped candy that I could use to clear out other things. Uh, and then, of course, if I've got my opportunity to load up a spaceship, I would start with two wrapped candies plus two color bombs. There would be no problem beating this. But for me, without boosters, it took me 12 tries. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions, put those in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching.